The excitement that this one's going to generate as local hopefuls Ong Yu Sin and Tio Yi, the eight seeds, go up against Liu Qingyao and Yang Po Han of Chinese Taipei. I'm just looking at that men's doubles quarter, I can tell you that the winner here will face a very, very difficult opponent in Alfian and Ardianto, the number three seeds, or the European champions that are Mark Lamsfuss and Marvin Seidel. And uh, that's what's coming up in the quarterfinal potentially for them. Of course, further down, there is uh, the veteran pair of Asan and Setiawan, and also the Olympic champions, Li Yang and Wang Chi Lin, that could potentially await in the semi finals. Right now, though, it's all about the two players who are about to walk on the court right now. And you can hear the roar here at the Axiata Arena as Ong Yusin and Tio Yi make their way onto the courts. But as Lu Jinyao, Yang Po Han, Chinese Taipei. And for Lu Qingyao and Yang Po Han, not only will they have to contend with the two players on the other side of the net, but maybe a third Ambaya, player Sven, Sui, in terms of Belgium. the crowd support Sui, Sui, that Priya, Ong and Chiu are Sui, going to get here court two. at the Axiata Arena. This is going to be a fifth meeting between these two pairs. But the arena has come alive with the prospect of seeing Ong and Tio book a place in the quarterfinals. Wait for their opponents to get onto the court for the coin toss. Joining me in the commentary seats is Kirsty Gilmore, women's singles player for Great Britain. And uh, this is just exciting to see because of the noise that we're going to get Black in this arena right. now. Absolutely, <laughs> yes. I don't know if Black. the cameras Red quite pick you. up how many people are in here, even like up to the gods. Red. Um, this side really spread up the way, so um, think yeah, so. I think this is we're in for a, a loud Blue affair serves. for this one. Receives. I think the Malaysians are Serve. well capable of taking Blue this game, serves. so it's going to be interesting. Receive. Okay. Yeah, they're extremely familiar with each other. These two pairs. That's their fourth meeting. The last one was at the Singapore yes. Open last year, round of 16, and Lu and Yang won that one in straight games. In fact, Lu Qingyao and Yang Po Han have the better head-to-head, 3-1. -head, and uh, in the other three matches before that, Singapore Open won, it went to three games between these two. So we're expecting a tough, tight encounter. Ong Yu Sin, 27 years of age from Malacca in Malaysia. And uh, they're ranked world number sevens, which is their highest rank as a pair, they're enjoying their best at the moment. Tio Yi, the older of the two at 29, from Moi, here in Malaysia. But they are an exciting men's doubles unit, fast and furious. They were tested in their first round against Ren and Tan of China, pushed all the way to three and survived that first round match. That lasted over an hour. For Lu Qingyao and Yang Po Han, the end of 2022 was some kind of a revival for them. I'm 29 years of age. Lu from Taichung, Chinese Taipei. Currently ranked 15 in the world with his partner Yang Po Han. They've reached as high as number 10. That was back in November 2017. But towards the end of last year, these two really came out all guns blazing, 28 years of age, Yang Po Han from Kaohsiung, Chinese Taipei. And uh, they won the Hilo Open last year. They got to the finals of the French Open. And that was a really fantastic run for these two from Chinese Taipei. They lost to Rankin Reddy and Shetty at the end of that French Open final. 
Alexander Dunn and Adam Hall, your country mates, Kirsty, is who they played in the first round and beat them 21 14, 21 11 in just under half an hour. They haven't really been tested in this to uh, tournament so far. This would probably be their first big test. Sven Serre of Belgium is the umpire and he'll be joined in the service judges chair by Lakpriya Erdesinghe of Sri Lanka. So the men's doubles match, of course, a totally different kind <laughs> of game as far as badminton is concerned. It's probably the fastest we see badminton go. For sure. I mean, I've got singles knowledge, you know, men's and ladies. I've got ladies doubles knowledge, played a bit of that. I've even dabbled in some mixed doubles over the years. National champion, if I do like to tip my own heart. <laughs> men's doubles is not something I've ever managed to be a part of. Um, although I did win that mixed doubles title playing level doubles. So, you know, that kind that's of close, close as you got. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, yes. I think uh, I can definitely give comment on the hall of how it's flying and uh, perhaps what um, each side is trying to do here. Um, but this is my discipline with the least experience, so you just enjoy the match. Exactly. I'm going to sit here as a fan, mostly. <laughs> That's exactly what we do, Kirsty. <laughs> We're just fangirling our way through Batman. <laughs> yeah. Fangirling our way through life. <laughs> So, with the match underway, or about to get underway, and the crowd at full volume, this is the second round clash in the men's doubles between Ladies and gentlemen, Tio of Malaysia right. and Lu Chinese So Lu Qingyao will serve to get this match on my left, underway. On Yusin and Theo A.E. Malaysia. for this fast-paced, very furious style of play on and Teo. I don't think they know any different. Seven it's over, one all. A joy to watch in terms of badminton, but sometimes when the mistakes then come flying fast and furious as well. High risk, high hard. reward, yeah. perhaps, that they play, yeah. Down smash from on the sin of the back court. Two, one. I think from what we've seen today, I think the Chinese Taipei pair will want to try and get on the attack on that side. That seems to be the attacking side today that's working better. So um yeah, I think that's their their best way forward. Here on the toss and show sides, as we've seen, mm. most people make that decision of opting to choose ends Three, if they win the toss. One. Makes In sense, here, yeah, for yeah. sure. And uh, they chose to start on the near court, as far as we're concerned, in our position. Yeah, interesting. It's, it was the side that I chose um, the other day when I played, um, but the, the wind seems to have changed since then but maybe they're just going with their previous experience um and this was the the in quotation marks huge side uh the previous days um, but we've seen people sort of dominate three. from the other sides uh today so it's going to be an interesting matchup space between the two as well. Absolutely, yeah. commitment to the net there. Yeah. 
Well, we know that we've talked Seven a lot about Hong and Tio being really quick Three, and four. attacking, but we know that Lu Qingyao and Yang Bohan are just as adept at the net and from the backcourt. Lu Qingyao, being especially tall, can really power down from the backcourt. He uses height. A big man. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. And the uh, Taipei pair, I think, are also uh, pretty known for their, their diving around Four as well. Oh. So um, maybe we'll get to see a bit of that today. But both these pairs, I think, they just they throw everything at it. There's uh, not much holding back. Um, High energy. Absolutely. It's kind of the way it has to be in men's doubles. on the line, as some <laughs> may say. <laughs> Five, four. Oh, beautifully hit that one. Well, which is why I think when you look at men's doubles and you talk about the pace and all that, and you see Asan and Setiawan who really lost the pace, mm. but have that amazing vision that can still win them matches and tournaments. Absolutely, it's the experience that then shines through and just the, the anticipation on, on what's going to happen. Yep. Reading the game really well. Yeah. Good move there from Taipei to take that over. Six, four. It's those kind of little off, off the ball, off the shuttle moves that uh, can make the difference. Shut down an area. TOE. It's a new year and a new look in terms of hairstyle. I love it. Always expect something different. Absolutely. There's the mixed pair that um, always go matching hair as well from Malaysia. <laughs> and uh, we just love to see it. Brings great flair to the sport. Seven, four. A bit of hesitation there with the wind, maybe. Maybe threw him off, uh, off the rhythm of the rally. Play. Yang Po Han. Absolutely. Set up with that big hit, covering four. it in there. Yep, that one, and then he came in right on. Inescapable. Eight four. This is a crucial break, a lead that Lu and Yang have established early on. As we've seen, the margins in men's doubles especially are so fine. Four points can go like that. Nice little help with the net guard there. Nine, four. Change the pace in that point compared to the last one. Yang mm. Bohan at the net is tremendous. I think that's definitely their favorite setup. With Lou at the back and Yang at the front. Big hits from Lou. Great defense. Oh. Made a really good counter and then just missed it on that one. There's a right way to go. And that part of the court was open. Right idea, but going wide on that one unfortunately well wide must be hard to not just have to worry about the guys in front of you but all the support and the noise to focus through that absolutely i took my uh, my headphone off to adapt it just a second ago and the noise was Nine. massive 
the crowd are really behind this Malaysian pair for sure. Cut the gap down to three points. Yu Chung Yao and Yang Po Han were on a run of seven points earlier. And uh, the Malaysians have come back and done well to do so. If that had gone over, Yang was all over that at the net. He was about to punish that. get that uh, attack back and then Malaysians managed to to sneak it back to their side. Three point game. Play. With everything in it. Yang Kohan did that drop. And that left a lot of space for him to kill the point off. I think that's what's so interesting about our 21 point system that this game is far from over. And it's, it's got a four, four, gap, four point gap now, but we really need to hold on to that. And put them to play just as fast and furiously as they currently are. It's only been eight minutes. And it is Lu Qingyao and Yang Pohan who are ahead by two. Score 20 seconds. Score two. 20 seconds. Coach, thank you. Come court. Luke, come court. Resume the first game. Young for Handel, sir. Good anticipation from Chio there. It's Young for Handel for the lower serve. And the tight net serve. And Chio Yi was ready for it. Great colourful fans of Malaysia have turned up here. Good. Yeah, such good net usage. Seven over. And also he was so close to that 12, outside line and eight. kept it in and it was straight down, Lu Ching Yao. That is the shot. Yeah. And then fall up straight to the body. There's not much you can do about that. I think here it's the work around the net and who's gonna give that lift away. Because each side it seems it seems okay to lift today. But yeah, to give it away and for the other side to be on the attack. Twelve. I think eight. that's gonna be critical going forward. Mine. Well. Han 
just walking off the court after that point. Kind of rethinking the way he hit that shuttle. Much more in the second half. You've got the tails up. Yeah. 10, 12. This good works when that relentless wave of just smashes and sticks are just coming at you. That's a good lift. themselves up for the 11, big smash 12. that was coming their way as a result. Lu Jingyao, that one, went really high with that. No, probably didn't have a choice. Yeah. Yeah, Teo's at the, at the net and just shutting everything down, so he had no, no choice but to lift that one. And got punished for it. And we're back to within one. Thirteen, eleven. They can maintain their composure, Liu and Yang. They've been staying ahead pretty much from four all in this game. And they just got to keep believing that they can do so. Stay ahead of the Malaysians. Even when they come all out at them. Yeah. Again, it's from Lou giving away that kind 12, of mid-court high lift. The Malaysians get on the attack and it's over from, the, from there. that serve in, doesn't he? Takes no time. <laughs> Just rack and shot it together over there. Oh, good save. Again. Good rally. <laughs> oh, the ball hey. on the floor. <laughs> good work. Oh, they were trying to avoid TOE for the longest possible time in that rally. Rather playing to Ong until Tio intercepted. And then with one with one shot. 13 all. Oh. Places it perfectly. The opponents are on the floor, but what a rally. 32 shots that one. The crowd liked that one for sure. 13 all. Oh. On court. Low. This is a yeah. man on a mission. They started looking at one point oh. one, where they went on that second point one, opened up a four five point gap. And they haven't been able to recreate those opportunities since. Is that all to do with the fact that the Malaysians have changed their approach, you think? I think so, possibly. Um, whatever the coach has said or whatever they've come up with in the interval could have been could have been critical to that. Or just kind of like getting into the game and settling in into a rhythm. You know, maybe, maybe they spend the first 11 points figuring out how they're going to uh, play and how the hall is playing. Um, 14, and then they kind of settle on, on, a, on a few things. So, yeah, it could be a whole host of factors, but this is it's, it's tight for sure. Good move, but it didn't pay off. 
40. Trying to rotate just at that moment. Shut down the net and then kind of was too almost too fast. <laughs> has got everything in it this match you feel the goosebumps from the crowd and the tension from the court yeah continuous play okay 14 all oh. well saved as well Oh, he wasn't going to let that go, no. Jan Kohan. Seven over. 15, 14. Right down, killed it off with ease. Thank you. It's in the middle. Not by a point. Last year, Lu Yao and Yang Pohan On court. were knocked out in the first round here at the Axia Arena. Happens to the best of us, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, that was well said, Christy. <laughs> <laughs> but I think uh, in men's, uh, men's doubles especially, the margins are so fine. And like we've been saying, it's so fast and furious pretty much all the time. Yeah. That, uh, yeah. Almost anyone could beat almost anyone. Very, very close and fought blue discipline Seven overall. Absolutely Four. worth the challenge that one, I think. Might have just looked over. Seven the line I'm on the line yeah Correction. the fist Eight. bump let me tell you there's nothing 16, more satisfying 14. than getting a successful challenge <laughs> oh it's a wonderful feeling <laughs> play do you do you attempt challenges with caution or do you only go when you think you have a very good chance or how do you decide when you want to challenge most of the time it's like when you want to challenge. Most of the time it's like racket and you just know felt good. And do you, do you sometimes listen to your coach? Does your coach sometimes tell you that you should I think we challenge it. The call has to be so immediate that quite often we don't have time to, for them to chime in and, and give an opinion. So I think.
It's net good. Very involved with this game now. <laughs> it's playing tricks. All. But that just owes to the, the tight nature of this game in particular, but men's doubles in general. Gentlemen, gentlemen, come here. Regain themselves in the Empire once a word. Sure, just to get ready faster. Mm. Okay. I think if both pairs are working at the same rhythm, then I Let don't them be. see it as much of a problem, to be honest. If one pair is taking significantly longer and really kind of changing up the, the rhythm of the match, then yeah, you're going to have to have a word. But neither pair seemed annoyed by the other there. But what the umpire says, go. That's a good shot. from the Chinese type paper. He took the he took the pace off the drop 18, that set it up. 17. Yang Pohan and then went for the more attacking smash right at TOE. Yeah sometimes it's not the the biggest most massive smashes that are most effective. Sometimes it's taking the pace off, going up for that stop drop, bringing the player in and then hitting the next one. 18-17, they've managed to stay ahead. Lu and Yang, no matter how much they've been tested. Good flex serve. 19-17. 19-17. Two points away from clinching this first game. I just don't think flex serves would have been possible the last few days, so the fact that they're managing to find the space for it and the control for it is uh, is really impressive. So would you have just gone for a low serve most of the time? I think so. I think it was un unflickable the last couple of days, or certainly the day I played. Um, I I flicked a uh, single serve, like to uh, the back of the singles court in my match. Really? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Twenty game point. Oh, Seventeen. It's worked for them twice now, and Lu Yao appreciating the position they've created for themselves here 2017 three game points After 26 minutes of high octane action, and uh, it has been a tremendous show between these two pairs. Unfortunately, as I say quite often in sports, someone has to win, someone has to lose, and uh, the Malaysians might be a little bit aggrieved by how it ended. They've got time to turn things around still. 26 minutes played, Lu and Yang up, 21-17. Yeah, how many you see me? Panjang two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, Yeah. 
before the front line, service line. Hello, there. Caught to 20 seconds, caught to 20 seconds. Thank you. Encore, gentlemen. Yeah. Too late, too late. Too late, too late. Oh, oh. We're oh, ready oh, to get now. game two underway. And put it in. As the players get back on court. Change of ends, of course. It'll be interesting to see what Ong and Tio can create here. What is it that they need to do? There was, it was so tight. There was so little separating them. Is there something specific Second that game. you think that they should do Love maybe off. against Lu and Yang here? Um, I think Play. like we've been seeing as a pattern today, the, whoever's on the side of the Malaysians now has had s slightly more success with their attack, whether it's sli flying like one mile per hour faster on that side. That um, but these people seem to be getting through a little one bit more long. when they're up being on that side. So we'll see if they can hold the net, get the lift, and really take advantage of that attack. Make it more lethal. Yeah. That's a nice shot. It's also going to test Lu and Yang's defensive skills more. Two, love. And we know there are some cracks there sometimes, especially with Lu Ching Yao. That's a big body to get in control get of. Do it during interval, <laughs> play. Yeah. Helps with the power, but with those sharp, sharp, fine movements, maybe it can kind of go against you a little bit. Yeah, I would not know. Not as much agility. That, <laughs> I don't have court. that problem. <laughs> You're all over the court. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about half his size. Oh, let it go. That's a good serve. It's right on the line. Bold to leave it at, at such an early stage in the in the game. Good return. Saw it coming a mile away. Yeah, they were they were cheering before it landed. They knew it. That one really good rally. Yeah, he was watching the shuttle as well, like properly, mm -hmm. knowing he had to set himself up for that smash. I yeah, just have the feeling that whoever is on the far side here on the Malaysian side now has a bit more freedom, marginally, but for some reason. It seems like they can kind of choose their shots better and have a bit more leeway on things rather than being so um, kind of constrained. Good oh. leave this time. This time was right. Take a net card. One, four. So hard to get out of the way of a serve sometimes. <laughs> So I think I can't remember who it was, but yesterday I saw someone get out of the way just in time for the shuttle to maybe barely skim the shots, oh. but made it out in time. Mm -hmm. oh. Get the turn, no, no. A bit of Five, one. This is exactly the start they would have wanted on until. Didn't catch that quite right. Yeah. Making all the right moves, keeping the rally short. It's still like a one two an attack. Yeah. It's still early stages, but uh, this is a nice lead for the Malaysians. Six, one. I think the 
this is probably why also they choose ends and to be on the maybe weaker end. Yeah, at the start. just to feel it out and then get into a groove. And no if we manage that one yeah. to no take one. the set, then that's great. But uh, yeah, also knowing that if it goes to three games, they'd end on, on the better side. Yeah, that's true for the the real critical crunch time. Yeah. The Malaysian attack at the moment. The Malaysians have just been so calm in their defence and uh, just concisely sending it back. Seven over. Take the two eight break in the cheap point to reset. Young. Good attack. Three Into the inside eight. hip of both of the Malaysians there. It's also very easy to get swayed by all this noise and the support when you're trying to sort of reconfigure. Absolutely. I think the crowd has maybe doubled in capacity since this uh, this match started. I think people have, there's been an influx of spectators and they're, they're properly behind this Malaysian pair. And men's doubles is one of those disciplines that the Malaysians are very strong and they have a tradition in it and therefore always had their crowd support. Absolutely. Ten four. Ten four. Well if you remember in the first game, I think it was five or six points that Malaysia was trailing by Five, when it went into the mid-game break, so not that far off from how it played out yeah, in the first game. 11-7, I think. Yeah, 11-7. Tio's doing a good job of just closing down this net here, giving them no options. Would you have challenged Six, that? Ten. Those, are, those are the hardest ones to challenge, to be honest. Uh, but now. That looked out. Yeah. <laughs> you can't believe it. Did you hit a shot like that? 10 6. Good save around the back. The Malaysians will challenge it. Hot challenges, goal. A little bit of a twirl Eight. there on Yusin. This will be satisfying for them if this is out. <laughs> How 
was just doing a little bit of a little sit down. I don't think I've used the seat once. <laughs> I don't think I've used it one time. All of them are sitting down, Christy. Oy. That is in. It's on the line. Challenge the place any better. One challenge remaining. Unsuccessful challenge for Malaysia. Seven ten. Got one challenge remaining now in this game. Play. We're kind of where we were in the first game at this stage. Yeah. And you remember the Malaysians came back to 14 all in game one. They came back strong after the break, so there's pl still plenty of drama to be had. Great yeah. Mirror image of the first set, pretty much. Yeah. 11 7. Great serve, great return. It is Ong and Tio who stay up by four points in this second game, much to the delight of the home crowd. Restart game two. Ong and Tio. As Yang Pohan slowly makes his way back. 11 7. And his partner, Liu Ching Yao. Play. So here we go. This is the all important second half. It's a must win for Ong and Tio after they've dropped the first game. 17 21. Over. Eight, 11. Interesting to see what Lu and Yang do here. A couple of points more, and that would really silence the crowd. Put the pressure on the Malaysians, who are, who can be temperamental when it comes to handling pressure. Sure. I, uh, I think they've been fairly dominant in this first half, despite the, the scoreline. I feel like the Malaysians have been more dominant in the second set than the Chinese Taipei pair were in the first set. Maybe just because they got that big gap to begin with. But I think it's all about their attack. Keeping the, getting the attack, maintaining the attack. Yeah, they're the kind of pair who thrive on momentum and confidence. So if things are going their way, you'll see it happening more and more so really fast but they also then get shaken quite quickly if they have mistake after mistake after mistake that's nice over. I hope the uh, the crowd keep them in check in a good way I hope they use the crowd to their advantage rather than letting it tip the scale the other way that's mm -hmm. a nice shot for yeah Ludo. Shots. I mean, I have seen a 96 shot rally today, and I tell you what, the amount of energy 
consumed in this 35 shot rally is probably at the same level. <laughs> yeah, I don't know that. I mean, the Chinese Taipei men are on the seat, sitting down, having another little Conserving seat. the energy. <laughs> Can I see your knees? Okay. okay. Yeah, the court needs a good wipe Popcorn, after that one. Gentlemen. But we're ready to go again. Young. Umpire urging the players to get back and forth quickly. Gentlemen, and the players not wanting to be. They want to take a break. It's exhausting stuff. Oh. It's a four point lead restored for Ong and Tio. Yeah, they've been clinging on to it. I think the Taipei pair have had good success with creating, actually creating gaps for the backcourt. Um, I think the Malaysians really want to press up, so perhaps going up and over at the appropriate time could be good. But it's a dangerous game to play. Oh. You say fall! Oh, I don't know that touched the floor. <laughs> oh. oh, yeah. Well, what a backhand from TOE. Which then forced an immense save from Lu Ching Yao, that one, and then Ong Yu Sin. They almost got away with it. <laughs> <laughs> nice try. Getting out of the little set down Thank now. You. <laughs> Maybe you should try it, Kirsty. Yeah. <laughs> I'll do that next time. See if the seat brings you the right amount of rest. Yeah. Maybe that's what I've been missing this, this whole time. It's, it's been right there. Magic red seat. <laughs> oh, clash of records. What was that? Just overcooked it. But really good defensive rally from the Ten, Taipei 14. pair. That one. He had like a hesitant, but he managed to save it. Absolutely. Yang Pohan. He hesitated there. I saw him almost double flick his record. <laughs> Fourteen ten. Still four points ahead. Idea to start with, push Tioe back, far back. Let's open up the front court a little bit more. Because Tio has been so uh, dominant at the net in this set in particular, the Taipei pair could, could try to get them out of their preferred Thank structure you. and set up and try and get Tio to the back and onto the net. I mean, it's still they're still going to be pretty effective that way around, but we know that they like to be the other way. So it's maybe something that the that Lu and Yang can try to. Yeah, but they are, both have their preferred positions, right? 15, yeah. You know 11. that Joey and Yang Pohan are the net specialists. 
But what you see more of, I think, with the Malaysians is they do trust each other to rotate more. A bit more rotation on that side. Yeah, definitely. How are these coming back? <laughs> Everyone's enjoying themselves, that's for sure. Proud like that one, definitely. Hey. 16, 11. Oh. I think it just came back with a bit more sting than he thought it would, and he misjudged it. from Luching Yao. Hey. Oh. oh! The crowd is absolutely loving this. Is Teal okay? Is it just a little scrape knee? Oh, I hope it's 17, not more. 11. Oh, that's some good play. They called for medical attention. Everyone was all in for that rally. That's <laughs> it. Uh, just maybe scraped his knee. Yeah, I don't know if he's taken a knock or a scrape. Okay. It really has been. In, I mean, the amount of energy and concentration that both these pairs have shown in this match so far. I mean, That's the saves that they've made, the shots that they've created, the opportunities they've created out of nothing. Absolutely, it can switch so quickly. It's one loose shot or one perfect shot, and the momentum can shift. But with the way the scoreline is right now, I think we will be heading to the third set. But could be commentator's curse. Why have I, <laughs> some, why have I done this? Ah, you jinxed it. <laughs> and I think that probably is the decision. Now, if it does go to three, that it is the right decision to have chosen the ends like they did the Malaysians. Mm -hmm. They know, uh, ha having played Liu and Yang a few times before, they kind of know that they have every chance that this goes the distance. Yeah. And, uh, of course. Looking at how they've adapted in the second game, adapted to the end, and really charged ahead. Yeah. I think 17 is my least favorite point to be on. You think you're so close, 17, but you are so far 11. from the finish line. So they will ha really have to re-engage here oh, and that really see it off. Oi. <laughs> so that over. The creativity is excellent. 12, so 17. 17. <laughs> yeah, there's a big difference between being, you know, 17, 12, 17, 13, and 18, 11, 18, 12. Yeah, right? There's some big points coming up. Psychological difference, definitely. Yeah. You try to not pay too much attention to the score, but you can't help it. Another one checked off, and another point closer. but they'll have to keep the pace high. It'll be interesting to see if this goes to three, which it's looking more and more likely. How much is left in the tank? I think they'll, uh, they'll both have a, a reserve for that third set, for sure. Two really experienced pairs. Obviously. by Tui, first with the serve and then with the return, the follow-up shot. Mm. 
19-12. Fantastic to watch at the net. Except for that. Time's <laughs> over. An immediate commentary. 30, <laughs> 19, it happens a lot. <laughs> That's nice. Wow. Hasn't really gone up and over on any returns so far. So to save it for 19 is That's smart. Over. Great 20, way to set up game point, multiple game points here. Plays to perfection. I think with the, with the way that this ra last rally has been played, I I think they both knew it was inevitable and it was going to three sets. There wasn't much uh, bait in that last rally, I don't think. Well, it's job done for Ong and Teo as they push this match to. A third and deciding game. Long and Chiu winning the second 21-13 as we edge closer to the hour mark. This is scintillating badminton that's being played on court two. We're going to have one more game of it. So into a third we go. This men's doubles second round clash is going the distance between Malaysia and Chinese Taipei. Lu and Yang started off Final bright game. hitting the first 21-17, then Ong and Tio fought back Play. fiercely. Winning the second game 21-13. The change of ends. There we go with the third. Yeah, I mean, the Malaysians really took charge in that last set. Uh, maybe even more so than the Taipei pair took in the first set. I think the, the momentum is currently with the Malaysians, obviously. Um, but it's whether they can continue that on this side. It's proved to be the slightly more challenging side. Oh, rapid punch. Rocket clash and a challenge. Up challenge. All in one go. He's broken it, has he? I think so, yeah. Two E. On his run of Blue fixes. Challengers called out. We're just making sure. <laughs> it's all in <laughs> time. It's out. Voila. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. Two love, play. So Lu and Yang have used one of their two challenges quite early in this third game. Is that something you think about? Seven Especially seven. when you're in like one, a deciding game like two. that, like, do I want to use my challenge now? Should I save it for later? Um, Knowing you have two. It's difficult because you just don't, you don't know if you'll need to use it again, simply. 
Um, but yeah, like you say, it's such a, an early stage. Like, is it worth it on, you know, one lift or yeah. two lift? Um, oh, we saw the wind nearly come into effect. Well, it did come into effect there. I thought that was going well out. Challenge did he challenge that? Did he challenge yeah, that? yeah. I'm, I'm going to say out. Yeah. Looked like it bounced out. You were right, and I were right, thank God. <laughs> challenge unsuccessful. Just saying, I forgot my glasses today, remaining. but I was confident on that one. Two all. Well, there you go. At least it's even now. It's one challenge each. Yeah. Play. Save and then, <laughs> Yang was pretty happy that that rally was over. <laughs> Change of shuttle. Not of approval from the coach as well. Mm. The Malaysians are going to have to, I think, find a way to stay close here for the change events. Absolutely. I think it, the score might go in favour of whoever's on the, the far side from us. So the Malaysians are going to have to find a way to... Well, he left like late to take that. Yeah. Yu Ching Yao. And it proved costly. That Three one, that ball. one. No, you are right. It's, I think as long as they, they're either sort of two points, you know, three yeah. points within their opponents when they change the ends, it will probably work to the advantage. I think Lu Qingyao and Yang Pohan also know that and have to do all the work here. Yeah, that's where kind of the mind games come in. Hey. Wow. He did it with the tweener. Ong Liu Sin. <laughs> yeah, I think the Taipei pair are going to be... Come on, man, what a go. <laughs> are going to be so aware that they have to take advantage of being on that side right now. And maybe that might force a few more okay. errors just from being trying to be too tight, too perfect. Because it's what they should do. But we'll see where we end up at 11. That's a good one. Holding that net. Good leave. He didn't even have to look at it. He knew that was going out on Lucin. But whoever took the lead at 11 in the first two games went on to win that game. Ah, uh, yeah, true. Dale. So that's, I mean, if you read, you can read a lot of things <laughs> uh, from the outside. Like the hoops and probabilities and all that stuff, all that good stuff on the court that's just about surviving and getting as many points as you can. The wonderful thing about sport is something can come along and totally ruin those likelihoods and probabilities, so <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Oh, good work from the Malaysians. Six, three. Pretty much picked up 
kept the momentum on their end. From that second game. Seven over. They're making Four, Yu Yao and Yang Kohan work extremely hard. Seem like in the first game that the kind of no 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 that's not you say freedom that Lu and Yang were playing with yeah they've seen Malaysians have done well to restrict that definitely yeah they seem a bit kind of st more st sticky no, exactly it's not kind of more, uh, as free flowing they're not moving like they did in that first yeah, game not a in three. Oh, another little blood injury. <laughs> In that kind of match. Those are some strict rules. That is, that's a teeny tiny little bit. <laughs> <laughs> but again, you don't want that blood to get in your legs. This allows them to sit down. Leo, stretch we have it another out. one here. Let's see Lucy, yeah, just holding on to the umpire's chair. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. She's almost eye level it's with him. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's hilarious. It's just like hanging on to the side of the umpire chair, <laughs> leaning forward, like. It's hard for them to stand up. Yeah. <laughs> Did uh, the umpire say there was another graze on yeah. the Taipei side as well? Yeah, I think so. I think she's... Blue. 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 Is she moving? Yeah, there. No oh, hand. Moving him around. <laughs> That's the... Well, they have been on the floor a lot. Yeah, to be fair. Yeah, they've been throwing themselves around. And with that comes the risk of scratches and grazes. Oh, thumb's an annoying one, though. Because it's hard to put a plaster on there because you use it so much for so many shots. Yeah. So it really kind of interferes with your uh, feeling of the racket. There's like something in the way between you and the grip. So that's a tough place to have a cut have a plaster on and you're sweating there's not a chance that's staying Stick. on yeah <laughs> you do the spray on one you know yeah. the spray on the block the one that blocks the yeah the injury the scratch instead of an actual physical plaster yeah will it hold Can you put uh, the string around? There's a conversation happening between Lu Yao okay. and the umpire. I'm wondering if he uses towel grip and it might it'll rub that plaster off, but it might also absorb some of the blood. <laughs> As opposed to yeah. grab. <laughs> We're ready to finally get going. Six. Yes, we're back into it. Six four. On and two still in the lead. Mm. Well, we talked about a lot about TOE in the front court at the Seven, net, but four. take nothing away from Ong Yusin and his awareness off the court. Mm. Oh, I think the crowd got a little rest with that um, <laughs> medical break. They are, honestly, they are going for it now. Oh, I guess they can also sense seven is over. getting a little excited at Five, the potential of seven. victory here. Excited by the prospects of Ong and Tio. I think, they, I think they're enjoying uh, both men's doubles matches that are going on in the hall right now. Well, it's interesting to say that because right next to them is their 
future opponents, whoever wins that match between Alfian Ardianto and Lamsfis Seidel will play the winner of this one. Oh, I see, and it's six, seven. So I wonder if one eye is sideways on what's going on there. I think it may be, <laughs> yeah. Good return, a good serve, and a good return. It's so close, so tight. Eight, six. from Hong Yu Sin. Good placement up the backhand there. Oh, oh brilliant. Good <laughs> turnaround <laughs> from Taipei. Yang Po Han is just, every short is taking so much out of him. 54 shots that rally. Seven. I think they deserve eight. a little sit down. <laughs> but the ability to play everything back and then create an opportunity. Yeah, that counter. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Immense play oh. from the Chinese Taipei pair. Yeah, they're not going to let this go easy. Yeah, if you look at past history, in um, the Fuzhou China Open 2019, it went. No, sorry, the Badminton Asia Championship in 2018 went 21-14, 20-22, 21-14 to Hong Kong. So it was a really long one. one. You're guaranteed a, a tight match between these two, regardless. Yeah. No, 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 no. Whether it's two or three games. One point. Separating the two. Nice. Coming across. Blue's body there. Right into the right shoulder. Couldn't Nine, do much about it. Seven. I'll tell you what, they're both really pumped up. Ong Yusin drove that. Eight, nine. Unfortunately. Eesh. He's checking his racket and he's broken a string. Change of racket is due. Still in Malaysia's favour. Too close to call. Good Nine saves there. Uh, they recovered well. We thought that the point was over a little earlier. Malaysia kept going oh. in the end, though. Nine all. So we're back on level terms. One game all, nine points all. Yeah, like we say, I think the. Lu and Yang will have wanted to take more advantage and have a bit more of a gap. 
being on that side, but the fact that it's tight is um, credit to the Malaysians for keeping a hold of it. That's well placed. I think he took a little bit of pace off that, so it wasn't quite coming at Lou as fast as he thought it would. And just out of reach. Ten, nine. Judge that? Uh, yeah, some hesitation on, uh, on the length there. Twice he oh. moved his racket thinking he was going to hit it. 10 0. Who's going to take the lead at the break? I'm going to say the Malaysians. Oh, why have I done that? <laughs> you cursed them. <laughs> to take the lead at the break, 11-10. <laughs> they edge their opponents. Nice. And uh, they will switch ends at this crucial part of the decider. has the shuttle and serve to Yang Pohan. Yeah. Attack the backhand of Lu Ching Yao with that smash on Yu Sin. Starting as they mean to go on, I think they'll uh, have had a slight energy conservation and they're ready to to really grab this last half of a set I think we might see a upping of pace just like that coming out fast and furious throwing everything they've got left at it 13, 10. this isn't the time to save energy Finish line is edging closer. And they can feel it. Yeah, they've got to go all in now. Three points in a row. Four. Yeah. Tio is feeling it now. This is one of the joys of playing at home. Where every winner, every point that you make, you get everyone behind you and you live or you thrive on that energy as well. Yeah, you're rewarded with a, with a, a shout from the crowd. Challenge, challenge here. On challenges, call out. Chance to take a break 30 second break also set the break but these ones are the hardest to judge 
just with the, the pads that the shuttle's no flying. No challenge the remaining. most interesting thing is that they're out of challenges now. So yeah. it's over. 11-14. So at 11-14, there's Play. no more challenges remaining for Om and Tio now. It's pretty early, but they might be thinking they have a good enough lead that they've got a kind of buffer to it. Well played by Lu and Yang. Tio is determined to hold that net. He is not going to lift. <laughs> Thou shall not pass. Yeah. Direction from Tio there and caught Yang Pohan by surprise. Yeah, again, he almost anticipated it too much and it came <laughs> further 13, across than he thought 14. of it. How about that for reactions? Yeah. <laughs> on his sin. Yeah, to be fair, on there. Uh, maybe frustrating. He should have put that one away. <laughs> so, one point game. We're back to one point. Yeah. That's a good turn. Good lead. Yang Pohan can't believe it. Again, he held it maybe a little too long. There's always a decision to be made of whether with a net cord or a good tight spinning net, of whether you take it early and don't let it spin, or you let it spin out and try and catch control of it later. Um, and it's a decision that you don't even realize that you're trying to make. Um, and he chose the wrong one there, unfortunately. Mm. So a challenge here now for Lu and Yang. It's called out. Again, hard to see because Tio moved himself out of the way right at the end. But it was out. And the Malaysian crowd is absolutely loving it because that challenge means that Hong and Tio no are 16 13 up, just five away from victory. 16, and it's 13. even playing fair field with no right. challenges remaining. Absolutely, but I would say the, the line calls have been pretty spot on the whole the whole match. So um, there have been some that have been pretty close. Oh, that might. Oh, how does that come back? He saved it well. Bit of hesitation there. Yeah. Been critical. Great angle on that smash from Ong Yusin. Look, he jumps after that save. Look, he jumps quite high to get that angle. He's, yeah. a, he's a fairly tall player, and then so he makes that jump to make sure he gets a really steep angle on that smash, making it hard to play back. He attacked Lu Jingyao's backhand as well, which has not been the strongest of shots. Absolutely. 17, it's a good 13. spot to hit. Maybe not for a guaranteed winner, but maybe the quality of shot would be slightly lessened. And by slightly, we mean millimeters. Everything's been a matter of millimeters. So, 18, 13, 3 away from an epic victory here Ong and Tio. 13, 13. I think they just need to make sure that they keep the foot on the gas and just because they're close doesn't mean it's done. The Chinese Taipei pair are going to put up a fight for sure. That's a good shot. Yep. Slams over. 14, 18.
more challenges now. Yeah. With he wants to challenge. Yeah, he wants to. <laughs> With where the shuttle's lying, I don't think that was worth a challenge. No, but I thought that would look out. The back line is so hard to... Yeah, yeah that's, that's well clear. Being on the other side, it's uh, the hardest one to to judge yourself. 19, 14. I forgot he ran out of challenges, more importantly. <laughs> so 19-14, two away from the win. of the flip there. They're so good with the first two shots. Yeah. Really, really effective. 20, match point, 14. Yeah, almost if you can get past that point, you're in with a shot. But Tio doesn't often let you. Match point. Yeah. And they do it. Yes. On the first time of asking. Ong and Tio take victory against Lu and Yang in impressive, exciting fashion. Three games that went down to the wire, Kirsty. Absolutely. And the Malaysians did well to come out on top of it. Yeah, I think they really heard the nerve, especially after the first set. And you can see what it means to them, especially in front of this crowd who are, well, this side are on their feet because a lot of them were hoping to get um, handshakes and autographs and My selfies on the way back. <laughs> Very popular 17, figures 21, here at home 21, on Houston and Thierry 13, as they 21, book their place 14. in the quarterfinals. Kirsty Gilmore, always a pleasure. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you very much for having me. And just confirmation of the score there as Ong and Tio are through to the quarterfinals. Continuing coverage from the Petronas Malaysia Open 2023. This is court two.